Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will see how to generate OTP using Java 8. So most of you are aware of the OTP that is one time password. So while doing bank transaction or authenticating yourself on the website, you might have received OTP on your email or on your mobile as a SMS. So sending out that OTP in mail or in SMS is different thing. We are not going to cover that in this video, but what we are going to cover is that how to generate that random OTP like five digit OTP or six digit OTP. So that we will see. And for that we are going to use Java 8 splittable random class. So let's see how to do this. So for that what we will do is that we will create one separate static method that will return string. So say the method is generate OTP and here we will receive that our OTP length means you want five digit OTP or six digit OTP. So OTP length. Now we will create the object of slitable random. And whatever digit we will randomly generate, we will append in the string builder. So we'll create the object of string builder. And now we will do for loop till this length. So this is our for loop from zero till it is less than the length. So if length is five, then it will run for the five times zero, one, two, three, and four. Now this splittable random class has one method that is next int. So here you can give the range. So what we want to do is that we want to have five digit OTP, for example, say, so we need to have one digit from zero to nine only. Otherwise, if we get 10 or 99, then that will become two digit. Right. So what we do is that from zero to nine. So here, whatever starting point origin that is inclusive. If you see this method, then you will found that this starting origin is inclusive. And see the origin is inclusive and the last value that you are providing, right? That bound value is exclusive. That means the zero will get included whatever digit randomly being generated, but 10 will not get included. So this will become any random digit from zero to nine. And that's what we want. So let me append this like this. And at the end, we will just return SP to string. That's it. So here, let's call this method. So this is static method and let me pass the length as five. So let's run the program. See, we got five digit OTP. Again, let's run. See, as many times you will run, you will get different numbers and that will be randomly generated between zero to nine. So this is inside Java util and uh, before Java 8, you know, Java util also provides one class that is random that we used to have before Java 8, right? So that will do the same kind of thing. But what is different is that let me show you. So just let me create the object of this Java util random. And it has also method as next int. But here, if you see by default, it will start with the zero that is inclusive and whatever outbound value you will provide over here is exclusive. But here you don't have choice for this starting. It will by default start from the zero. So if you provide 10 over here, it will give you from zero to nine, any random digit. But like if you want to have from five to nine, that you cannot do with this thing. But here you have choice from this starting like this. You can do five as well. 
and let's see let me remove this let's run the program see we got all the digits and that are between 5 to 9 only so this is the choice we have from java 8 so this is how you can generate otp using java 8 if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends so that's all for now we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding